What's going on? How you feeling? How you doing? Hope all is well, chosen one. Just your boy Cardo back at it again with another video. Yes, I am. You better believe it. On your way in, go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe to your boy if you have not subscribed to me yet. Yes, sir, indeed. Before I talk my talk, come on, chosen ones, y'all know what we must do. Let's thank the most high. Our almighty heavenly father for allowing us to be here today. Yes, sir. Indeed, it be feeling good when I do that, don't it? Chosen ones, today we're talking about something that a lot of the times uh, we really don't talk about. Sometimes we really don't like to do this because we feel like, oh... Um, how am I going to get something back in return or I don't have enough? Or, you know what? Let me just say, let me just say it. Those are ones. We're talking about why we should continue to give generously as much as we can. You know what I'm saying? Giving your first 10% back to the heavenly father. Yes, sir. Indeed. Cause you better believe he going to give it right back to you. Yes, sir. Before I, before I hop into these notes, grab your sword. Because you know we're going to slice and dice in this video. You know how we gets down. We got to use the scriptures in the word to back up what we're talking about, right? Come on, don't act like you don't know. Get your sword and sharpen it up. Yes, sir, indeed. Chosen ones, we got to understand that when we give, we're going to get it right back. God is going to see us give, and he's going to give it right back to us. The Heavenly Father does not need our money. He does not need it. You understand me? This is just this is just an um, a act of kindness that God wants to see. You know what I'm saying? And he wants to see you do it truly from the heart. You know what I'm saying? We can't just be out here giving stuff with the mindset of, oh, I best be getting something back because I didn't give. Mm -mm, mm -mm. That's not how we're supposed to be thinking. That's not the way it works. You know what I'm saying? So let's hop on in. Let's, let's tap in on why we should give. You understand me? All right, chosen ones. The first reason why we should do this is it demonstrates love and compassion for others. First and foremost, it said it demonstrates love. God is love. One of the most important commandments in the word is to love one another. It's one of the most important ones. And that's showing love when you do that. So when God see that, woo, you best believe you are making the most high happy. And when he happy, when he see you doing these things true from the heart. Yes, sir. Indeed. He going to throw all of that love right back on you. You know what I'm saying? We can't be worried about, ooh, I got a bill. Or, ooh, I don't think I got enough money to be given like that. Can't have that mindset because when you have that mindset now, you thinking like, mm, I don't really trust. I don't really trust that God is going to allow me to receive it back. And when you don't trust God, come on now. Come on now. He got to see that you're trusting in him with all your heart, even when it comes to this giving. You feel me? If you do, pound that like button. And let's go ahead and slice and dice. Luke 6, verse 38. Give and it will be given to you. A good measure pressed down, shake it together and running over will be poured into your lap. For with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. So yes, sir. The more you give, the more you're going to get back. God is going to let it happen. Don't worry about when you're going to get it back or how you're going to get it back. Just Get in the habit of giving generously as much as you can, whenever you can. Have that heart. And it's going to come right back to you, chosen ones. Cardo, I mean, do you do it? Do you be giving? You know what I'm saying? Probably wondering, right? Now, in the beginning, when I was first getting into that truth of giving generously, giving generously and it would be given back unto you, in the beginning, I was uh, I was kind of a little hesitant, you know, because I most definitely was having some financial troubles. 
I ain't even gonna lie to you, y'all. Your boy had some broke days. I'm talking about so broke, I'm looking for change just to get some food. That's how real it is. You know what I'm saying? But over time, I started to just try it, even when I didn't have that much. I just wanted to try it just to give. And every single time, I'm not gonna say this, it works every time. That's why you gotta trust in God's time and know when you're gonna receive the blessing back. But it has been plenty of times though, where I didn't gave and got it right back that day. Yes, sir, indeed. It can happen that quick. You never know how God works. You understand me? But we got to remember this, chosen ones. We got to do it from the heart. You got to do it from the heart, okay? The next reason, chosen ones. This reflects gratitude for the blessings we have received. As a chosen one, you got to understand you got a lot of blessings coming your way. You know what I'm saying? A lot of blessings coming your way. Because you out here using your gifts and your talents making the world a better place. You know what I'm saying? Serving others. You feel me? So when you give, you are getting even more blessings now. You know what I'm saying? On top of what, what you already got in store for you. You feel me? So that was like times 10. Come on now. Chosen ones. Um... You may not be at a church, you know what I'm saying? Which is not wrong. Because at the end of the day, if you are getting to know God for yourself, building a relationship with him, you know what I'm saying? That's what matters most. You feel me? But, you know, in the church, they like to say, they, they, they pass the collection plates around and you give your 10% and everything. But if you're not in the church each week, you can, you know what I'm saying? Give that to the needy. You may find somebody, just save it, you know what I'm saying? And give that to a needy person. Who you may see out somewhere or you know what i'm saying you may have another ministry that you support you can give that to them you know what i'm saying you do not have to go to church to give you feel me if you're feeling me go ahead and pound that like button and put it in the comments i'm ready to give generously you feel me come on now once you start to understand that chosen ones and you start to just let it go second let it be second nature to give when it's on your heart Come on now. You're doing it for God's glory because you have received all of these blessings. So it's like you saying, okay, God, you've been blessing me. So that's only right I do the same for others. Come on now. We here for each other at the end of the day. I like to say this, y'all. We was not brought here for ourselves. We here to help one another. We here to help the next. And what great way to help than to give generously to that next person chosen once. Come on now. Let's slice and dice. Second Corinthians 9 verse 7. Each of you should give what you have decided in your heart to give. Not reluctantly under compulsion. For God loves a cheerful giver. He wants us to do this out of love. Out of the true kindness in our hearts, chosen ones. Come on now. And that's a fruit that you should have. You know how we would be talking about let's test the fruits. Come on now. Do a self-reflection. How your fruit's looking? How is your fruit of giving looking right now? Ask yourself that. Come on now. I'm telling you, you got to believe and trust that God is going to give it right back. Come on now. Next one, chosen one. The next reason. This helps meets the needs of others and promotes justice and equality. A lot of people, you know what I'm saying, be liking to... Look at people who are really needy in the sense of, mm, I mean, hey, it is what it is. That's on you, brother. Oh, that's on you, sister. I'm getting mine how I get mine. You need to get yours how you get yours. Come on now. What about that time when you need help? Do you still have that same attitude? Do you still have that same energy? I don't think so. Think about it like that, chosen ones. Come on now. And when you're giving... You got to understand that you shouldn't be doing it trying to get attention from it. Telling everybody when you gave somebody, some, when you gave a homeless person or just the needy. You know what I'm saying? He likes a person that does it privately. Just like how he likes when you pray privately to him. But he's, all of these things do not need to be broadcasted. You feel me? Just do it from the kindness of your heart and he going to see that. That's the only one who you should be worried about seeing that. Just God. Nobody else. You feel me? 
Let's slice and dice. Proverbs 19, verse 17. Whoever is kind to the poor leans to the Lord, and he will reward them for what they have done. Do you hear that in the word? Shing, shing. This is the truth, y'all. The word is the truth. He's not lying to you when he's telling you this. Come on now. Do I need to say that again? He will reward you for what they have done. So every time you give, it's going to come back. Please believe. Next reason, chosen ones. This will bring you joy knowing that you are making a positive impact in the lives of others. Come on now. Ain't that what we're supposed to be out here doing anyway? I'm telling you, you're really going to start to feel good the more that you give. You know what I'm saying? That's why I said the more. It, it, it got to be. It got to be habit. You got to practice these things so you can continue to just do it out of the out of the kindness of your heart regularly. You know what I'm saying? Now, I'm not saying. Come on now. Have wisdom. I'm not just saying give all your money away to you ain't got nothing. You know what I'm saying? Come on now. And even then, if you got little to nothing and you still give that all away, God going to see that too. And ooh, we when you do something like that, talk about a blessing. Talk about a blessing. You feel me? Your gifts and your talents should be being used to serve others and help this world become a better place, right? So while you are doing that, just go that extra step further. Go that extra mile, chosen ones, and give that much more. You know what I'm saying? Come on now. Let's slice and dice on that. Acts 20 verse 35. It is more blessed to give than to receive. Come on now. Because God is going to give you everything. He's going to give it all back to you anyway. That's how you need to be thinking about it. So it's just like when you just regularly just give and then you start to feel good about that. And the more you feel good about it, the more you're going to want to do it, right? Don't that make sense? If it's making sense, pound that like button and put it in the comments. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about giving. Let's pray about it. Come on now. Some of y'all... Maybe thinking like, ooh, I ain't got it like that, Cardo. Come on, you can't have that mindset. It's okay. That means you, you that means you don't believe that God is going to um give you everything you need moving forward. Come on now. God needs to understand, and, and this even comes to when he is leveling you up, when he is giving you more opportunities and giving you more blessings. He needs to understand that. You are depending upon him. Always asking for his helping hand in everything that you do. And that comes with giving as well. You can if, if, if you are having trouble doing that, you can talk to God about that. Pray about that. God, I'm really struggling on giving generously. Can you please give me the heart? Can you please grow the fruit of giving in my spirit, Lord? And he going to do it because asking ye shall receive. You know what I'm saying? Next thing you know, you're just going to be giving, 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 then giving, giving, giving. You know what I'm saying? Like it's nothing. You're going to be blessed. Be watching. The next reason, chosen ones. This aligns with God's principles and brings blessings in return. Like I said, do I got to say it again? And anything that anything that is aligning with God's principles is the best thing. You know what I'm saying? Because he is the most high. He is our heavenly father who knows all. And he is doing everything for us. You know what I'm saying? Getting us through our seasons of struggle, getting us through our seasons of hurt, things of that nature. So it's a lot of people out here going through the same thing. Y'all, we're not the only ones. But remember, though, a lot of people don't have a heart to give like that. You know what I'm saying? So as chosen ones, as the few chosen ones, because remember, a lot of people call few are chosen. So as the few, you got to take that serious and you really got to you really got to understand how special that is. You know what I'm saying? So the more you understand that and the more that you seek God in everything that you do, even when it comes to giving, yes, sir, indeed, you are fulfilling God's purpose. You are making the world a better place. And you never know. Just that kind, that one act of kindness that you give, you never know what that could do for somebody. You just never know. That's the idea. That's the mindset we should have, chosen ones. I, honestly, I'm still uh, trying to get better at it. Honestly, I can become better at my giving as well. Yes, sir. Let's take accountability, chosen ones. 
So yes, sir, please pray for me on that too, as I will continue to pray for y'all. You understand me? Let's lay some base one more time. Proverbs 3, verses 9 through 10. Honor the Lord with your wealth, with the first fruits of all your crops. Let me let me explain that real quick. Hold on. He said with the first fruit. So that means what that mean, Cardo? That means don't wait until you get some more just so you can give. You know what I'm saying? Give that first 10 percent. Or if you want to you, you got that heart to give more, give that first 20, that first 50, whatever it is on your heart. Do it first, because that's really showing your trust in the Lord. You know what I'm saying? That's really showing that you trust God. And what you are doing. That's what he like to see. That's what he want to see. And watch what happens. Watch all the blessings that's going to come upon you. You feel me? Let's continue this scripture. With the first fruits of all your crops, then your barns will be filled with overflowing. Overf the blessings going to be coming out the woodwork. And your vats will brim over with new wine. Sing, sing. You heard the scriptures. We just sliced and diced on it. What, what, what more we got to say? You know what I'm saying? If you feel like I didn't left some scriptures out, you got more to add. Come on now. Put it in the comments. Let's talk about it. Let's continue to give generously as much as we can, chosen ones. Because God is doing all of these things for us. So let's do this for others. You feel me? I sure hope so. If you stayed this long, you are a real chosen one not only that you ready to give you ready to put forth the effort to give more more than you ever did before bars i say bars you know what i'm saying so i want to thank you for staying this long in the video i love you i appreciate you yes sir i do now chosen ones before i go i want to give you just a few more things since we're talking about giving listen up just a few I want you to have a nice, yes, sir, indeed. And I want you to have a blessed, every peace, every blessing that God has in store for you today and the next day and the next. And I want you to have a beautiful day, chosen ones. Peace out. God bless. And let's continue to give generously. True from the heart. Yes, sir.